All right, let's go back to that story about the CEO of OPPD wanting to close a facility in Fort Calhoun in Washington County. He wants to close the Fort Calhoun plant by the end of the year. The move would affect hundreds of workers and the entire community in Washington County. New at 10, reporter Kelly Bartnick talked with small business owners tonight. We already know this is a decision that affects hundreds of workers, but behind all of those workers are businesses and spouses wondering what's going to happen next. The plant's going to be shutting down at the end of the year. That was it. <laughs> Jennifer Welchard is one of those people whose future could look different. I saw like a little post about it. She works part time at Sheer Attraction in Fort Calhoun, one of the communities bracing for big cuts in just about everything. If OPBD approves Fort Calhoun's closure next month. It was about 12.30, I think, is when my husband sent me that text. I'm like, oh, it was true. Welcher's future is doubly uncertain because her husband, Bill, works there, too. Like, completely out of a job or if they'll be transferred. Whatever we can do to retain those employees here and keep that economic impact local, uh, we're going to try to find a way to do that. Lisa Sheev deals with development in all of Washington County. She says the closure affects about 150 Washington County residents, plus another 600 employees who come to Fort Calhoun from other communities. If there is a silver lining, it's that the area has time to put an action plan in place. The closure isn't even a for sure thing until a vote next month. It would be months before the plant is shuttered. Not one business is going to define who we are, and uh, so we want to be able to find out how we can get to that next chapter. She hopes that could include new jobs at the Cargill refinery down the road or maybe an opportunity no one else thought of before. They take care of the town. I mean, they're in the restaurants and, you know, of course, the bars and here they come, you know, it's easy to stop on their way home or they have a lot of traffic. Traffic that might disappear in layers, little by little, bringing new changes and challenges to Washington County. In Fort Calhoun, Kelly Bartnick, yeah. KMTV Action 3 News. Is it the thrill of th